Right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to add the studs on the top of our block right here. So let's uh, let's take a couple more measurements really quickly. So grab your calipers, grab your block, and let's take a look at this right here. So I need to know a couple of things. I need to know the outer, outer diameter, the outer dimension, outer diameter right there. I need to know the inner diameter right there. And I also need to know how far apart these are, the spacing between the blocks. And I need to know how far it is from the edge of the block right there. So let me fix my camera. All right. So let's take some of these measurements real quick. So our outer diameter right here. So I'm looking at that. Let's just round that up ever so slightly to the nearest sixteenth of an inch. And I see on my calipers that that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 sixteenths, which simplifies to 3 eighths of an inch. So I'm just going to kind of note this on here. I'm just going to make a circle. This is our big stud right here. So I'm going to write that our OD, so our outer diameter, equals 3 eighths of an inch. All right, our inner diameter. I'm going to grab that and look at that. That looks like just exactly one quarter of an inch. So that inner diameter right here. ID is outer diameter. I or OD is outer. ID is inner diameter. Equals, what do, what do we say, quarter of an inch? One quarter of an inch. All right. Uh, what else do we need? We need the spacing between two blocks right here. So, or between two studs, rather. So this little spacing right here. What is that? So let's grab our calipers. Let's take a look at that spacing right there. And look at that. We've got another perfect quarter of an inch. Good to know. So I'm going to put one over four inches. And then lastly, we need to know how far away it is, the stud is from the edge of the block. So I'm just going to put a line right here to right there. That dimension. So I want to know this little gap right here. So how far away is the edge of this stud to that block? Now, when we talked about calipers before, this one will not get me a good measurement. This one can give me an okay measurement, but not great. This one can give me a pretty good measurement. All right, so that one right there will give me a good measurement of that. So using that depth rod, and I see that it is right there. That is two sixteenths, so one eighth of an inch which makes sense because it's half of that. Um, if you want to know, there's actually a secret fourth way we can use the calipers that most people don't talk about. And that is right here, and this is called the step. And this is actually a really good use for it. So when we talked about calipers before, we mentioned that this distance is the exact same as that distance is the exact same as that distance. There's actually another one right here, this little edge from the edge of this plastic to the end right there. If you close that all the way, that should be flat. So that is called our step. So if I take this, if I slide it up right there, so that gives us that dimension right there, which again is 2 sixteenths or 1 eighth of an inch. Right? So important that we know that. So this right here is 1 eighth of an inch. Um, because it's a Lego, this one right here is the same as that one right there. So I also know that this is one eighth of an inch. All right, excellent. Let's use all of this information to make our nice studs. All right, so let's shrink that back down in case we need it. And just leave it right here. All right, so coming back to our block. All right, so I want to draw on the top here. So this is where, you know, I've got my 
initial piece right here, my initial block, and now the way we work with Inventor is we draw more sketches onto there and then we extrude or rotate or whatever we're doing from there. So we're going to draw some circles on the top and then we're going to extrude those. So I'm going to hit Start 2D Sketch. Now, again, I don't know what it wants me to do. If you look in the bottom left corner of the screen, it says, select plane to create sketch. So what it needs is to select where we want to draw. So we want to draw on the top of our block right here. So start 2D sketch, click the top of the block. Again, it rotates it, I don't know why. Let's put it back like that. All right, so we want to put however many studs were on here. So we've got eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight circles that we need to draw on here. So first thing I'm going to do, how should we do this? Let's use some guidelines or some construction lines. So if I want to draw a line, I'm just going to take a line and let's just put it, click on your first uh, point over here on the left edge, click, bring the mouse straight over, it should say zero degrees, and click it again. So, all right, with the line tool, what it wants is you can just keep adding lines. So like if I just want to keep clicking like this, it'll keep doing that until I hit escape on my keyboard. So to get out of that, just hit escape. I don't need that many lines, I'm going to undo. All right, so you just want one line that goes all the way across. This we're going to use as a guideline. We're just going to use that to kind of point where on our block the center of these points is. So to turn that into a construction line, if we click that line and this little red two line thing right here, click that and it will make your line a dotted line. So in the final part, that line is not actually there, but for you and I engineers looking at this, that will help us to build whatever it is we're building. Now I wanna set that in the middle of the blocks, or middle of the studs right here rather. So I need to figure out where that middle line is. So what I'm doing is just putting some guidelines right here like this to help us figure out where it is. Doing some math right here. All right, so I know that it's an eighth from the edge right there. And I know that this whole thing is three eighths. So that would be, hold on, I'm gonna pause this while I do my math. Actually, no, I'm not gonna pause this. You can watch me and how horrible I am at math. So this is how I would figure this out. Cause I wanna find where the center of that is. I know it's one eighth is the edge of my circle. So I have one eighth, which equals two sixteenths. Let's put this all into sixteenths. All right. So I'm two sixteenths from the edge. My circle, that outer diameter is three eighths, but I want to know essentially my radius. I want to know half of that circle. Well, half of three eighths. So I have three eighths and, uh, to find half of that, you just multiply this one by two, your denominator, so that would be 3 sixteenths. That's one of the nice things about fractions is half of 3 eighths is 3 sixteenths. Half of 3 sixteenths is 3 thirty seconds. You just multiply that one by two. So 2 sixteenths plus 3 sixteenths equals, I can do that one, 5 sixteenths of an inch. All right, and what that's giving me is the center of this circle to the edge of that line is 5 sixteenths. So this is kind of where having something to draw with, draw on a piece of paper is pretty useful. All, right. All that is to say, I want this line right here to be 5 sixteenths from that line right there. Anytime an inventor you want something to be an exact distance away, you use this dimension button. The way the dimension button works, is you click dimension, you click your first line, you click your second line, and then you type in however far you want it away. So I'm gonna click that first line right here. I'm gonna click that second line I just made, and I'm gonna move my mouse over here just somewhere where it's out of the way, it doesn't really matter where. I'm gonna click and I'm gonna type in 
five sixteenths our measurement right there our calculation we came up with and I'm gonna hit enter all right I'm gonna add another line at the bottom right here click once move over click again hit escape if you need to get out of the line tool I'm gonna hit I need to turn that into a dimension line or a construction line so click that, click construction, dimension tool. So click dimension from the bottom line to this line is 5 sixteenths. Uh, the other nice thing about this being a computer is it can do all those calculations for you. So let's say I wanted to do all this stuff I just wrote on a piece of paper. So 3 eighths is my diameter, 3 eighths over 2 is my turn it into my radius plus <coughs> one eighth and if I hit enter look at that I get the same answer so you can type in formulas you can type in just straight numbers decimals fractions you can throw in different units in there and since it's a computer it's really good at figuring all of that stuff out all right all right now we need the same thing let's add some construction lines vertically so again I'm gonna click the top click down and let's just add all four of them before we add and this part isn't entirely necessary but it just makes things a little bit easier and helps you kind of visualize it all right let me hit OK uh, we need to set how far away those are so I'm gonna click on dimension so same thing, I'm going to click the left line and click this line. I'm going to move up. I know that that is 5 sixteenths from the edge. I know that this one right here, click that line, click that line, bring it up, make that 5 sixteenths. And then how far away are these? Are these quarter of an inch? Let's look at my block right here. I'm just going to verify. No, that is not quarter of an inch. All right, so here's more math. All right, so I got that quarter inch gap plus half of that circle plus half of that circle, which makes a whole circle. So that would be one quarter plus three eighths. I don't want to figure that out, so I'm just going to click this line and say from that line to that line is one quarter plus three eighths, which would be five eighths. So 0.625. All right, so same thing right here to right here should be 5 eighths, 0.625. All right, so what this gives us are the center points of all of our circles. So the circle tool, click circle, click the center point right here. So you're going to click once, you're going to move, we're going to find our outer diameter is 3 eighths so 3 slash 8 hit enter and let's add that inner circle as well so click once in the center move and our inner diameter is 1 over 4 hit enter all right I'll notice all right so hit escape to go back to your regular mouse and I notice that I still have the construction line on there so I'm gonna click on those lines Turn off that construction line, brings it back to a regular line. And go about doing this for all eight of those points right there.
All right, so I've got all of my studs right there. When I hit finish sketch, you'll see they are all flat on the top right here. What I need to do then is I need to extrude them up and make them how far up? 3 16th of an inch. So we're gonna extrude those 3 16th of an inch up. Now when I hit extrude, if I click on the outer part of the circle, that's what I want. So I'm gonna do that for all of them. If you accidentally click on the inner part of the circle also, if you hold shift on the keyboard, you can unselect things you don't want. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on all eight of those outer circles. I am going to then set that to 3 16th of an inch. Right here, so that height is gonna be 3 16th, which I'm just gonna come over here and type 3 slash 1 6 and hit enter. And look at that, we've got a pretty good cube or Lego block right there. So that looks pretty good. That's kind of where we are right now. So we need to hollow out the bottom and maybe round it over and do some more little advanced touches right there.